people welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is jasmine if you're new here welcome the main theme of my channel is adulting in progress where i take you through things i'm currently going through or things i've already been through and how i'm adulting my way through them this year i am calling 2023 the most disciplined year of my life and that really is focusing on my goals specifically my financial goals um if you are new here i have a three-part video series on my channel that i released last february about like my debt payoff strategy my debt story um and like my debt breakdown um and then i'm gonna be doing an updated debt breakdown video um this in january at some point as well um but i wanted to talk to you talk you through my 2023 goals um so i got the elevated life co budget book this year um this is like their second version um, so I got the 2023 and then I wanted to go through the Elevate Your Goals page. Um, so I'm going to go through two financial goals, two business goals, and then two personal goals in the business, like business professional type goals. Um, and then um, I want to just talk y'all through them so we know where we're going on the most disciplined year of our lives. Okay, so for our financial goal number one, the goal is to pay off. all my credit card debt so basically um like i said i'm going to be doing a video with a debt update but basically i have um some credit cards and then i have a personal loan and then i have my car that i still have left to pay off my goal for this year is to pay off all of my credit card debt um and so just having my personal loan and car note going into 2024. my ultimate goal was to be debt free by 30. i'm hoping that i'm still able to make that happen my birthday is in march and i turn 29 um and so then i'll be 30 next march so we'll see how much progress we're able to make on that goal this year and then if we're able to do that in 2024 that would be great and that would just consumer debt not my student loans my student loans are a whole different thing this is just my credit card debt and my consumer debt that i'm talking about okay um my second financial goal is to save two thousand dollars this year so basically the last two years i want to say i've saved a thousand dollars um which is big for me because i used to have no savings at all um saving didn't even know what that was so i'm just trying to up that goal um and to save two thousand dollars and how i'm going to be doing that is uh actually let me put by the end of the year um and i'm just going to be doing savings challenges so last year i did the 52 week savings challenge and that was actually really effective and that gets you like thirteen hundred dollars so then i'm and then i'm going to be doing another saving challenge i'm going to be doing the zero out challenge so we'll see how much that will save us um where you just basically at the end of each week you will go into your bank account and just zero it out so you take the last three digits of your account or you can take the last four it's up to you um and then you zero that out for the week and then just put that in a separate account is my plan for um this year so i usually do that every thursday just because i usually get paid on fridays and i do it before my paycheck kicks in so yes um so those are my two financial goals this the payoff on my credit card debt is like main number one goal um so that's going to take priority over the saving challenges but i will be doing at least the 52 week saving challenge and the zero out challenge just because those are easy challenges um to do and they don't really require a ton of money up front um versus like the hundred envelope challenge and like all that other stuff so my business goals like i said these are my business and professional goals so my first goal is to post my budget videos my bi-weekly budget videos all year um so last year i started in february and i was going strong i was going super super strong in the first year um in the first like six months and then we got to like august life happened and then i just stopped uploading all together and then i was like nobody wants to see me fail or maybe people do want to see me fail and it was just like a whole thing because i had so many things that happened um so my goal is to post bi-weekly budget videos all year regardless of the good the bad the indifferent it doesn't matter i'm going to post the video 
just because this is about taking y'all on this journey with me and showing y'all that it is possible and like yes it's not gonna be perfect all the time but it's worth you guys to see the highs the lows um of what I'm calling, like I said, the most disciplined year of my life. Um, the next business goal is to research a new side hustle. Um, that will generate $800 to $1,000 um, a month. Basically, so as y'all know, um, if you're new to my channel, you may not know, but I've been doing, I started doing DoorDash in like 20, 2019, um, and then in 2020, I did DoorDash for about a year, and then in 2020, I started doing Instacart, um, and I did, I'm doing Instacart from 2020 all the way up until recently, well, really since October, and I haven't really done it as much as I used to, um, but yeah, I used to generate about $800 a month from that. Um, the thing is, it's just, like, really taxing on my car, and I don't want to, like, wear out my car trying to do Instacart or DoorDash. Um, so I really want to find a side hustle that I can do from home that will generate that same income. And then maybe, like, and if it's, like, I have to do Instacart maybe, like, one or two days just to, like, make up that $200 for the whole month instead of trying to make $800, maybe that'll be okay. But my goal is to find something that I can generate that I, allows me to work from home and is more flexible that still generates that income that's not, like wear and tear on my car so that is the goal okay and then lastly are my personal goals for the year two of them I have some more goals these are just like my top six that I'm sharing with y'all um so my first personal goal is to go to one social event a month to make new connections and this could be church or like a Facebook meetup or um, Bumble BFF, whatever it is. I have been in Sacramento for almost two years. It'll be two years in June. And I don't have any friends. <laughs> like I have people that I work with, I have my coworkers, but I don't really have friends here um and so i'm trying to like get out of my comfort zone and like go and meet new people um and just have people to hang out with um so that is one of my goals i want to be more social and like challenge myself to like get out hang out with people at least once a month i feel like that's not too much to ask you know um and then my second personal goal is to oh it's to finish this book <laughs> Sorry, and that could be a financial goal too, but it's to finish um, the budget book. It's to continue doing it throughout the entire year. Um, if you guys are anything like me, like I will have a planner. I have multiple planners. I got journals. I got all these things. And at the beginning of the year, and I make it a little past February. I usually make it to like June or July, so like halfway through the year. And I'm like, yes, this is great. We're gonna do this. We're doing this. And then something happens. And then I fall off and then I never come back. So my goal for this year is to finish and complete this budget book. To use it for all 12 months um, as it's intended. Um, there are like the monthly budget. I'm going to be real with you. I'm probably not going to do that on in this book. The monthly budget setup. Because um, I just do the budget by paycheck method um and i do like other like my monthly budget like what i actually spent in the month that's like on a google sheet um so if y'all want to see that i can like recap that but i can do like monthly recaps but primarily i'm going to focus on my budget by paycheck um like my paycheck budget setups and then also like my debt payoffs um and my budget are usually my cash stuffing is in with my budget setup just because I don't usually cash stuff a whole lot of money um, and then this year I'm actually going to be cash stuffing less because I know I used to cash stuff like my debt envelope but I found that it's easier for me and more effective if I just transfer the money from my account to my debt um, immediately instead of taking the money out and then having to deposit it and then paying it so We'll talk about what that's gonna look like um, going forward, but yes. So those are my top six goals. So we got two financial goals, two business goals, and then two personal goals. Um, I'm looking to y'all to hold me accountable 
if y'all don't see me on here bi-weekly at least to post this budget the budget videos let me know hit me up in the comments be like hey girl remember that goal you said you're gonna post all your bi-weekly budgets like let me know um and then i appreciate all y'all's support from this point um up until this point and like as we're going forward thank y'all so much for that um we will be back like i said i'm gonna be doing my debt like my debt update that'll be the next video that y'all will see and then um we'll start getting into our bi-weekly paycheck budget setups that starts on the 13th so Alrighty, thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.